What's up everyone? We're gonna watch some arena gameplay today. What better way to get a feel for the game than to watch streamers with thousands of hours? Uh, we have Team Wimo Z versus Team Landmark at the TwitchCon streamer tournament. Yo, Stinkrat's pushing. Going prone and over on the side, trying to catch an angle. Looks like already increased their map knowledge and knows. It's kind of hype. Will Z versus Landmark. A lot of patient play coming out from either side. No one really getting exposed. There it is. The first trade, but it's Abney to get the first kill. Stank Rack going down. Jiggy does trade. I think Will Z has the more stacked team here, though, for sure. Flash Bang misses. She holds the angle, but she has given away her position. She can try to back away, but no, she's got someone up ahead. Spots one out. Sticking together, which is very smart. Oh, Willers. Sheep taking out Taze. Jinji tries to push up aggressively, and M is there to punish her. Still, though, Willers is taking out Landmark in that first match. Damn, this gives me like the, the CSGO feel, the Valorant feel, but then Tarkov. Holding the angle now. Trying to pre-fire this as he backs away. Focus. Ooh, got a little bit of lagging, but it looks like he's fine. Seems like it's really and easy to just team kill in this game. Ends up going down. M with a two-man spray. Takes out clean. M3J was very strong in the hates. wonder what they're going to do about that if you just uh, play with people that constantly team kill you. Doesn't know where he is. Gonna try and we'll have to away. see. Heal up a little if he has the opportunity, but... Such a tense spot to be in. That could have been a fake heal as well. I know in other games, if you play. team kill too much, you usually just get booted out the game. Oh, he's still holding on to his nade, though. Or your team can just vote Using and kick you out or something like that. Try to reposition. Objective is coming up, we'll see what BSG does, though. And they've got the numbers advantage on the other side. Okay, this this four-man, I think, is first to seven. Willers up top, spots both of them, takes out M, brings it down to a 1v1. He has been tagged, though. Fucking Willers. Finds the angle, oh. drops <laughs> down, secure the first round. Takes the Willers. round with a drop bear kill. They strike first blood, getting the first round. It's got to bring a lot of confidence. A big G up. Being able to hold on to that utility to back away from that uh, initial position where he looked like he might have been pinned down. Could have been really bad if he didn't have that nade to be able to back off, reposition, get on that high ground, and play around the objective. That was so smart by Willard. A lot of strategy. Here they come straight into the second round. So fast between rounds, this game is so exciting. Yeah. So I pop a little bit late on the meds. Covering that platform once again. A lot of fighting has been taking place around here, but it seems like Landmark's gonna give that one oh. up. Clean makes first contact. Tagged him a bit, but isn't able to finish him off. He needs backup, and it looks like they will swap out. <laughs> okay, one <laughs> back for <up>. three. <laughs> you want it back up? <laughs> there it is. Willers gets the first kill, but it is traded back. Clean going down. It's a 4v4. I have a little bit of pile up there. I wonder how much ammo type and armor actually matters in this can. in arena. So brave taking these left peaks as well. Yeah, the fighting has defaulted back to this platform now. Landmark and Co. And a really wide swing around the map. Trouble with flanking is if both teams are flanking, <laughs> we get a ring around the rosy kind of position going on. Abney checking his flanks just in case. Might have heard something here. 15 seconds. One player down from either side, and the objective is about to come up. Really tense action, and looks like they're going to let it go to overtime. Remember, the objective, there are multiple objectives that you can take, but they spawn randomly around the map. Sheaf is on it right now. If someone tags him right now, denies it. That's Landmark pushing forward. Taze is there as well. Finds one more. Abney <laughs> takes out two. Wow. Just like that, Landmark strike back. We are tied up early on, one to one. You see these rounds are going by really quick, and you can't really camp because of the um, the objectives. Being that objective. Having to fight over for that, charging forward. 
So if you rat in this mode, you're going to be the last to get to the objectives, which will mean you'll, you'll you're more likely to lose the round. Very cautious, patient okay. play coming out from either side. This is real tournament play you're seeing now. Pre-popping, just to get ready for it. Oh, we're seeing some aggression now. So interesting. Well, mini map for just the spectators would be cool though. Get intel. Oh, M. Jinji stays alive. Tanks that with the face mask. But the kill already went over. M finding a second one. Will he get another Willers? Planes down and Willers. Wow. Sheep though. Oh. Nice answer back. M finds the fourth kill of this round. Can he finish it off for a clean ace? Oh. He's gonna try. Sheep outnumbered there. And it looks like that's gonna be the second round going the way of Landmark. Tough breaks for Willis team there. Oh, okay. M, by the way, currently seven and one after wow. those three rounds. It's interesting how the players are positioning around the map, right? And every time we have a looks kind of jacked. Like a different way to play it. <laughs> the first round. Yeah. The first time we saw it, it was a lot of action around the platform. This time around, it looks like a lot of fighting around mid. But this is the first time we're also seeing the teams running around as a full five man squad. Mm. We would see fire teams of like three or twos running around, but they are sticking together. It's interesting, isn't it? That could also mean one nade getting a lot of kills if they spot him out. Covering all angles. Doors and corners, checking every single angle on their approach. Hoping to get pushed, but it's not happened. Willers pushes left. He's got a teammate ahead of him pushing right. And it's going to be Sheaf. Takes out M. Huge pick up there. Oh. That could be a game changer. Sheaf is just watching their flank the entire time as the four-man push up. Clean, patient, holding that angle. He's got the vector, though. Not quite the angle you want to hold with this gun. That long sight line. Really using the clock. Now the objective opens up. We'll see if they can spread out enough. Find the right angles. Willers gets the kill onto the landmark. Stank with one more. Able to get back and reload. The objective is still open, though. They've got to move for it. they got to figure out where it is. No one's yeah, it looks like headshots in this um, scheme mode is super important. It seems like it takes forever to kill somebody with body shots. Top, spotted one. That gives them a little bit more confidence in this, especially with Willers getting the kill onto Taze. They figured out as long as you're near the objective, you don't need to be in it. Now they're moving Wonder if they made changes to the ammo or the armor just wear, to kind of balance out this mode. Never mind. Abney will be able to get one, and Willers trades it back. We are tied once again, two to two. A win for Team Willers. Post match. I knew it was going to be close. <laughs> but <laughs> just trading rounds like this. Wow. And Not this a lot is of communication. I think their strategy. They're happy with their strategy. And it's all focus. It is patient, conservative play coming out from either side. I mean, they look like a SWAT unit moving through, clearing corridors, clearing corners. <laughs> so different from yesterday, we saw two go one way, three go the other way. Dude, this game's gonna be sick. A lot of ego There's so much potential. To be honest, a lot of ego challenging in this, uh, in the first kind of day of play. Willers taking out M again, but Landmark at least trades back earlier on in this one for round. One? They're getting a little bit more aggressive. No longer are they trying to play as passive. They are fighting over this platform like we saw yesterday. Landmark going for another peek, but it's dunked to get the kill onto Willers. Stink rat. Patient angles being held now by Clean as it takes off. Taze, but the flank from Abney will punish Jinji. Oh, the leg meta coming oh. up from Clean. <laughs> Clean it's a trade. Leg meta works. Yep. Landmark's still alive. Oh, it's about to get another one. There it is. Landmark 
finds the third round for his team. Captain taking the round. Still using the MCX. Doing work with it. Once again, but it's Landmark taking the lead. There's a lot of teamwork here and a, a bit of sacrifice as well. Someone's prepared to sacrifice themselves to for the greater good. Come out with a 2-1 or a 3-2. Sometimes in competition, you know, you get a little bit antsy. You just want the action to get started. Something has to be the catalyst. But they're still playing together as a five-man unit. You can see all of them running down. Maybe try to cut them off on the rotation. When they try to swing around on the edges, on the outskirts. Gotta be careful with the body block as well. Abney going for the high ground now. Oh, initial contact. It's gonna be M this time. Sheep going down. Picks up a kill. M with so another. much chaos right now. Jinji isn't able to trade back. Will is taken out. Oh, M with another peek. That's gonna be a 3K. Clean will finally answer back for them as M is on a tear looking for his fourth kill of the round. Doesn't want to break his leg. Clean kind of tank there. Yep. Yes. We'll break it. That's right. If you go up two levels and jump down, it's not going to end well. 7 and 40. Okay. Yeah. And start it off. If it looks like if you don't neutralize M early on, he's yeah. just going to run away with that yeah. round. Yep. So now we have our first bigger lead uh, in this map. Mm. Took a little time, but we can still trade this away. 4-2 in favor of Team Landmark. Looks like everyone has access to Tier 5 armor and above, and then Tier 4 helmets and above. This is a, no longer a bit of fun. This is an actual tournament. There's some actual tournament play happening. Oh, oh. There might be an issue. I think Jinji's trying to get the call of an admin real quickly. And so we're going to go ahead and get that sorted out as soon as we can, I think. We do have some fighting, though. Sheep trades away. Ms. Dunk at least goes one for one on that. Clean. Ready to run and gun. He's so mobile with this loadout. There's more corridors than you think in this map, and they're all at different angles. An extreme amount. Oh, Willis ends up going down. Landmark finds the kill onto clean. Well spotted. All right, Genji's out on the field now. Yeah, dude, Landmark is such a problem. Abney gets spotted as he jumps up, loses both of his legs on the landing. It keeps his life. Stank spots him, but no, oh. he ends up losing out on the duel. Dunk is on the other side of this one. Unlucky there. Whoa, Gigi, though. Just takes that landmark. Oh, at the tail end of her reload. She gets caught out. Ends up going down. And that's going to be, what is that, the fifth round for Landmark. Um, I think Team Will has had some technical problems with the keyboard during that, which didn't help. I think they're good now. Hopefully it's figured out. Very slow, patient play, methodical ways uh, in their, how they're approaching this map so far. Coming up from either side. No one's splitting up. No one's leaving the group. They're covering each other's retreat and their uh, um, the angles. Oh, nice little angle there. Willers will pick off M. Again, that's a great sign to get that initial frag onto M. And Landmark is down to Stankrat too. Yeah, it's a good thing though. Trade. In in this format, I don't think team aim matters as much as positioning the in the actual Landmark team right play. Now. And this is how you do it. Clean with another kill. It's been so aggressive with that vector in their yeah. face. Willers will get one more kill onto Ms. Dunk. Now it's all down to Abney. Ooh. Gets to go again. Clean has that mobility. He can cut him off. He is running all the way around. He spotted him out. And he's got the trades ready for it. Sheaf ends up finishing <laughs> off Abney. And now they'll get another round on the board. It's 5-3 to three still in favor of Team Landmark. 
Great to see them working so closely as a really close-knit squad now on both sides. Yeah, it's like right now what I'm seeing, you know, is Team Landmark running around as a five. Clean, of course, with that vector. Is playing a little bit more on his ones, has a bit more autonomy in how he wants to approach these fights, and he's kind of like the X factor in a lot of these fights. But most importantly, though, I think putting a stop to M. If you spot M and you take him out, the rounds are tending to go the way of Team Willers. Yeah. Now Jinji going for the height. Landmark is holding that angle early on, though. Immediately after exchanging some fire, we'll change up the angle. Spots one. Oh, he's calling for the uh, for behind, and there we go. He saves his life. Jinji, unfortunately, with the team kill onto Willers there. As Stake Rat will trade at least. Yeah, it's so easy to team kill. For clean. Wow. Taking out M. And Landmark is also down. Woo. He's getting shot. Probably going to happen in almost that. every game. Shipping container changes up positions again. He has so much mobility with this loadout right now. He's moving around without a care in the world, honestly. <laughs> and with that shit, you're going to be bold. Fortune favors the bold. I think yeah. SMG George might Clooney. be the way to go. No, no. <laughs> it's a light weapon. He's, he does seem like he's moving faster than everybody else. Oh. What? Abney with a quick flick. Wow. We'll save that round for Team Landmark. And now they're sitting on map point. That was a close one. Checking the ammo. Yep. <laughs> Gets confirmation. Yes. Could be the final match of this map. Will they be able to finish it off here? Or can Team Willers keep it alive? They've got to run this back essentially four rounds in a row. Sheaf holding the angle, trying to tap someone's toes. Be careful on the jump downs. We haven't seen that much utility coming out. Doesn't look like that landed. What an angle to see the action. Landmark's got this height to play with. This is where he won that 1v2 early. Some great lines there. Or at least it was for Willers, excuse me. Now trying to default back over to this platform. Big firefight, but it's clean. Who ends up losing out on that duel? The trade is it there. He spots another one as Willers does get that trade onto Ms. Dunk, but Landmark takes out Jinji at the same time. Willers with two Damn. more. M and Landmark going down. That was a good transfer. Busted up, but oh. good. He gets caught oh, mid heels. Oh. Abney is there. Picks up one more. Chief trades. And now 1v1. Stank Rat versus Abney in this 1v1. They get spotted out. Long range. <laughs> and there it is. Stank Rat keeping things alive on this map. Bringing it closer. Looking very ratty there. <laughs> <laughs> Crack the knuckles, get straight back into it. Look at how fast you're in the next match. I feel like the the, the the gameplay that we saw earlier on where it was very squad oriented has kind of broken down here mm. a bit. Mm. Players playing a little bit more on their own. You can see the split coming out. Yep. Four on the left, one straight up mid. And I imagine that's gonna be clean trying to get something going on his own while well, the four man Which runs out it? oh it's a, it's it's uh the fight between landmark and clean landmark backs away from this one he took some back uh he took some damage and he's got backup of his teammates too so he tries to reposition and use the audio it's gonna be willers opens up takes out m huge pickup once again Oh, but the flank, but wow. the flank! Abney is there to punish with the trade. Ooh, quick peek. Back behind cover. Landmark holds the angle for now. And now they get flanked. It's the trade, though. Stankrat picks up Abney. And Landmark, two for his own. Two? 
huge ebb and flow oh, in this wow. fight going back and forth yeah. between both teams. This is reminds us of the aircraft <laughs> in air pit. Now with seven seconds to go. Ooh, the timing. It's going to try and cut him off. Heard that was a headshot, up. no? And now the objective unlocks. But Landmark will go ahead and drop down on Sheaf. Take him out. He's gone. Picking within contact. Ooh, dog and determination. And Landmark will secure that 1v2. Landmark touches. That will and that oh, is yeah. the map. Ooh, first map going the way of Landmark, but this was a back and forth affair. Our first four or five rounds getting traded between both teams. That was Damn, dude, this game's kind of hype. Damn, dude. The arena mode looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good change of pace from the usual raids. This is uh, going to be good for those who love their traditional 5v5 format, kind of like CSGO or Valorant. And it looks like clicking heads and just getting headshots in general is the best way to kill somebody. Body shots and leg shots seem to just take a bit longer, especially body shots. I saw some people tanking. They were tanking so many shots in some of these interactions. I'm curious as to like what changes BSG will make to just kind of balance out armor and ammo penetration in this format. And then the audio seems pretty good from what I can hear, um, but we won't really know until we play it ourselves. So yeah, Tarkov Arena is going to be chaotic, but probably a lot of fun.